YouTube viewers. The trimming done. Do you think Intel's re-debut into the GPU market is too late? Who would want to go with Intel and their brand new bleeding edge platform when the AMD and Nvidia equivalents are available on much more established platforms for a probably similar price? Yeah, look, it's an interesting question. Yeah, I, the way it's been phrased and worded, I don't necessarily disagree with it. Having said that, there's a lot that's yet to be seen and I don't want to be the world's biggest dope and be like, too late, it's going to be too little, too late, They're going to, it's going to suck, it's not going to be good. And then it turns out to be the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah. So we don't know price or performance. It we makes the question very hard. It does. It you know, again, as we just saw over the last two years, you don't necessarily need the fastest GP, which was kind of funny timing for AMD to become so competitive at the high end when that's not really what we needed over the last two years. We just needed well, we needed something you could buy. It's really the bar was set very low. But had had there been a sort of even below mid range, but well-priced GPU, that would have been Yeah, they amazing. could have come out with an entry-level card. But I think I think there is some merit to this question because, you know, releasing a product now, they're competing in a different set of circumstances. Definitely. Today, cards are available. Mm -hmm. Pricing isn't amazing, but it's way better than it was. Mm -hmm. And you're now able to just buy from established brands. Whereas if they launched six months ago, they had an opportunity to get easy wins just by being available. They would have got easy wins in sales, whereas today they really have to now think about their pricing and performance and go up against cards that you can just buy yeah. off store the shelves. The timing's unfortunate and, for them. You know, if they end up with 30, 70-ish level performance, those cards are selling for around six to $700 US. Mm -hmm. Previously, they could have potentially sold that card for a lot more and would have flown off shelves. But today, you're probably looking at that card needing to be a fair fair bit cheaper than those products, which is you know how how capable is Intel of doing that? I don't know. So you know it's they they've kind of not had the optimal launch timing. Let's say you know, yeah, is no it, doubt about is it. Is it too late? I mean, if you're launching a product for the first time, you or you have to get it out at some point. You yeah. have to you have to make the leap and invest in that GPU generation and the future generation. So you're gonna have to do it at some point, but it wasn't optimal. They missed out on the gravy train or, or yes. getting it on the ground floor. Absolutely. Because uh, in the sense that they would have sold their whole inventory at a premium, as you just said, instantly. Whereas now they've, yeah, the pricing becomes an issue and things like if driver support's not as yeah. good, which it's unlikely to be, it's hard for them to even charge nearly as much. I mean, we're in this situation now where AMD and NVIDIA are so evenly matched, so competitive,